Oh, it's a Kaisa 2 Zaya 2. Uh oh. With lucky shot. I think this is the end. Wait, no, no. It's definitely not the end. I'll at least live. Shen is keeping Jogath alive. <laughs> Unbelievable tactic. Is it good enough? It might be. It might be. You have a strong mental. I'm tilted half. I mean, I high rolled the opener. I high rolled the opener. I low rolled the ending. It, it happens. If I wasn't so unlucky, I'd get a fourth. If I was average luck, I would have gotten a second. If I was lucky, I would have gotten a first. That is just how TFT is right now. You should have had the foresight that you would never hit. I mean, even if you knew you weren't going to hit, you still have to roll for upgrades there. The entire build rolls at seven there. If you somehow knew that you were never going to hit a Janna, then you would just go for a different uh, three star. You would still roll there, even for the other three stars. Was selling the Lee Sin early on the play when you had the Dragon Lords on board? Yes, because you need that money for the Janna. I hold the Lee Sin until it's obvious that I can't afford it. And then you sell it once you're, it's clear. Yeah, there's a very large percentage of the TFT audience that thinks you didn't hit, therefore it was wrong. Or the opposite, like you hit, therefore it was right. And it, it honestly saddens me a lot. There are times where I roll knowing it's a bad play and then we hit and people think I'm good. I'm not good. I'm a psychopath who plays for content more often than I play to win. It's really important that you know when you watch TFT, like if a decision is good or bad. I go where the trouble is. It's always a good decision to roll there. I still lost because sometimes when you make the high percentage play, it doesn't work out. Very important distinction. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, oh, Graham Cracker. Thanks for the four months. trainer ethereal blades i don't really have the items for it oh but i love me some ethereal blades i could just go wait how many players look like they might contest shen all right i'm actually gonna go for it Never a dull moment. Okay. Behemoths, behemoths, behemoths. And then Nico, Atrox. Okay, the reason why I chose to do this, even though I barely had any units for it and items, is because I saw, well, one, Bard was contested. There's a previous angle I was looking for. I, the the target timing with two random crests was pretty good. It's what I would take most of the time. But I saw something interesting. This guy's going too healthy, but I think he's going too healthy Teemo. Well, I hope. Or he's going too healthy Janna, because if he goes Shenna, that's really bad for me. But I was pretty sure he was not going Shenna, and... If he's not going Shenna, then it's super good for me because then I get... He takes half the two-cost pool, I take half the two-cost pool. And we, like, hold hands one and two. If he's going Shenna, I'm f***ed. But from a quick scout, it didn't look like anybody needed the one in Shen. How do you do in the turn with Emily Wang? We did pretty good, actually. We went 9th out of 12, which is really good considering we were by far the lowest ranked player duo in the tournament. Like, by far. Holy shit, I'm a high roller. I think we were on average 1,000 LP lower than the rest of the competition. So, placing in like the 9 out of 12 is actually pretty good. Why were you on the same team if it was by far? 
Oh, because Emily Wang... Uh, Emily Wang was the second lowest ranked player in the tournament. The lowest ranked player in the tournament being me. And then she chose me as her partner for some reason. Which is fine. Like, I, I had a good time. Oh, I kind of didn't want to win this. I want... I want the bow. Okay. Maybe I should have just thrown the round. Upgrading the shine might, might have been too strong. I didn't want to, like, int HP, but I wanted to lose. I didn't realize he was so weak. Oh, actually, maybe I lose. Maybe I lose. Oh, actually, I still, I'm still first pick, even if I win. Okay, I'm down. Shen on Carousel with a bow. Oh my god, there's a spat. But no, Albert, don't be distracted. If you don't get Gwinsu's, you will actually suffer. You absolutely need this bow. Oh my god. Somebody help me, I'm going to pug. Gwinsu's Shen 2 with Ethereal Blades and 4 be Behemoths. Behemoth. Oh yeah, I'm down to try this. I I've never tried this before, but people have told me uh, you can do this. If you do it, your Shen will get stunned. But I guess early and not early. Orn. Oh shit. But yeah, the idea behind second rowing your Shen is that you your Shen will buff your uh your front line. But you also take AoE damage. Alright, naturaling three Shens is kinda huge here. Or naturaling two Shens and a Gwinsu is huge here. This augment is very fun, but it is ridiculously RNG. It is very, very, very much so. Can you hit a Shen 3? Okay, that was weird. I just had like a heart attack. I I thought I sold a Shen for some reason, but I didn't, right? I didn't sell a Shen, right? Okay, yeah. I, I don't know why I thought I sold one, but I, I thought I sold one. I always had this like big fear that like, I'm gonna do something randomly really stupid. Like, um, like in a tournament, you accidentally sell your three cost unit or your three star unit. By just like misclicking absentmindedly. Or uh, like, I'm going to accidentally stream my penis on stream and get banned. I like randomly like worry that I'll like fuck up. Wait, did I just win? I think I won. Cause streaming is the kind of career where like, if you randomly were really dumb for five minutes, you could lose your entire career. I, I used to have this irrational fear that I would like, uh, how do I describe it? I used to have this irrational fear. I was like, oh, I can't get drunk. I don't want to get drunk. What if I turn on my stream and take off my pants? And like, I understand now that like, that's not what being drunk does. You, you like can still like kind of think. But uh, up until I was like 25, that was like a very real fear of mine. I was like, oh, I can't drink alcohol. I don't want to turn on my stream without my pants on. Or like those thoughts of like, uh, like what if I just like fell off this bridge? It's really bad. Although I, I heard those are like normal. Everybody has those thoughts. Actually, oh, that was probably better. Okay, uh, next round, I'll go seven. I haven't solved out what the optimal board is for Ethereal Blades Shen, but I, I'm pretty sure it is very close to just six behemoths. And then for items, like, items is like a massive RNG check for this build, because you absolutely need to get like best in slot or very close to best in slot Shen. So best in slot is like two Gwinsu's, one Giant Slayer. Close to best in slot is like two Gwinsu's, one Titans. Or I uh, triple Gwinsu's or like two Gwinsu's, one Gunblade, two Gwinsu's, one BT, like something like that. Like you really need uh, a lot of attack speed. They buffed Shen with Ethereal Blades so that like he's not mana locked anymore. So you really just want insane amounts of attack speed. I think I won. Uh, it's not Radiant Refactor. I wonder if it's ever Behemoth Crown. Oh, I really liked Final Ascension. 
I had it last time I played this and I went first with it. Radiant Refactor is a Radiant Gwinsu's though. It's a Gwinsu's and half a Gwinsu's. Hmm. I think Final Ascension is normally really good here, but I think Radiant Refactor is better because I'm pretty behind on items. Okay, I'm gonna roll a little bit here. What? Oh my god. I I okay. I guess my bad. That that's frustratingly inconsistent. On on a lot of like the you, like in the shop, you can drag it out to like buy it. So I just always do that. I just like try to drag it out like four times and I couldn't do it. it I still get the item, but it's it, it won't come in time for this round. So if I had lost this round because of that, I'd be really annoyed. Luckily, I'm facing a weak player, so it's not the end of the world. But if I had lost my streak, I'd have been kind of pissed. pretty good. Uh, I should roll for more behemoths. Uh, this is probably good. No, I can keep going. That's probably good enough. Okay, which unit am I going to go for? Three star. Normally it's Yorick. But I actually don't even have a York in. Maybe Thrush is fine. Okay, and I can do the anvil trick here. Why not copy Shen? Uh, the copy doesn't get anything special. I mean, I guess I guess I could just like put stats on him. What's the anvil trick? Uh, you'll see right here. It's very overpowered. This anvil could have half of a Gwinsu's. So what I do is... Now that now I can see that I have a rod, now I have to try to get the bow. Hold on, I'm, I'm never getting the bow. But like, the idea is you see which half you hit so that you can take the other half of the item you want. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just taking a rod no matter what here. I wonder if it ever take a QSS. I don't think it's that good. Your Shen's not getting stunned for most of these fights. Um, I'm gonna roll. Our will align. The grave is your home. I don't think you need Aatrox. I think Allow is better, synergy-wise. Does Shen true damage is better with Runons? No, they, they removed that Runons interaction a long time ago, like four sets ago. Runons doesn't do any on hit. I'm so sad I couldn't take Final Ascension. But like, you definitely have to take Radiant Refactor when your items suck. There was a, a really interesting game plan. There was a really interesting meta in Set 9. I actually liked it a lot. It was when almost every pro took the Orn Legend. Because the, the Orn Legend, for those of you guys that didn't know, uh, it, it guaranteed you augments. It, it guaranteed that one of your three augments would always be something related to item components. And the reason why it was good was because even though, like, an augment that says gain two component anvils isn't... That's not really that good. But it fixes your low rolls. So if, you for, if you're forcing mages... And then you get a um, yeah. If you're forcing mages, and then you get offered 
like sword sword glove it's like oh shit i just lose but then you take the orn thing it's like okay i can at least turn into a shojin and like a gun blade and then it, it fixes like the low rolls so you basically like trade a little bit of like kept that power because you're less likely to get the this augment but you're guaranteed to get an okay augment and then at worst you play for like a fifth it was actually like a very cool like way to play the game where you were guaranteed like safe augments or you could be really risky and play like master yi and then uh, be guaranteed like ultra scaling first or eighth augments i i really like that uh even when six out of eight every game was uh orn i really liked it okay uh i believe i'm uncontested did the two healthy guy okay two healthy guy is going for nar it's really good for me he randomly is holding one shen for some reason though in darkness, I'm gonna just start rolling. Death is not always the release. The blade is your home. I need a bow. Oh, baby, a bow. Death is not always the release. Oh, baby, a bow. <laughs> Target marked. Alright, I'll hold on to 30. I held the greatest blessing. I could do triple Glinsus. Uh let's go ahead and Oh! Do I want to do triple oh Gunblade or BT? Let's do let's do Gunblade. BT is a better selfish item. It helps him stay alive, but Gunblade helps his frontline stay alive, which arguably helps him stay alive. And then you can make the cloak an item on your on a uh, fresh. Yeah, it's the new Bard. Pew pew pew. And like he'll do plenty of damage anyway. This is so satisfying to watch. Um, unified probably. Martyr. Martyr is probably better than unified. I actually don't know how to do the math on this. Not ever. All right, you can do it, Albert. One York. There's so many two costs out of the pool. Pretty sure you hit this like instantly. Oh, um. You hit this instantly, Albert. Instantly! Instant! Instant! Any second now, I'm sure York's gonna show up and the crowd goes poggers. Oh, what the? You wish the world you built to end. Our will aligned. I'm getting deja vu. I, I once again want to keep my streak, so I roll down for the two cost unit that I have eight of. Oh, this time you could argue that my board was still good enough. After the three star Choga, if you if you said the board was good enough and you should have stopped, I'd be down. It might be. I'm not sure how strong uh this two star Shen is though. Okay, now I'm 100% rolling down. I'm at 8 Yorks, 8 Shens. Good roll down. Fear not. I will make use of your corpse. Maybe I should do this. Is York even good? I mean, he's a 3 star behemoth. And we're playing six behemoths. Well, soon we will be. I haven't hit an Orn yet, but I'm level six, so I didn't expect an Orn. Oh. Why not roll here? I, uh, Your odds of hitting two Shens in 16 gold is really low. I was rolling earlier because my odds of hitting one York was really high. This guy's kind of popping off. 
This is incredibly satisfying to watch. Oh. Um. Wait. There was an Udyr as well, but like, there's no way. No, I'm taking that. I got it. the Irelia carousel. That's actually super high roll. Also, I get to look at a giant Irelia. Have you ever imagined looking at a 12 foot tall Irelia? Why does it keep sounding like the carousel is opening up? I just heard the carousel open like four times. All right. I humbly request one Shen. There's like none out of the pool. One Shen. 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 I probably deserve this. I just want to keep my streak so badly, man. I don't actually have to roll because I have HP, but I'm so close to a huge spike. Oh god, it's the Kaisa Forcer. I didn't kill a single unit. Wait, is something wrong with my game? My Shen was like not attacking for a while. Giant Slayer would win that. I don't think that's even worth saying because there was never a moment where we could have had a Giant Slayer. Oh, unless you mean lose a Gwinsu's. In which case, no, the Giant Slayer would absolutely lose that. You'd be throwing the game because you didn't stun the second Gwinsu's. I'm not sure if that's what you meant. If you're saying Giant Slayer over Gwinsu's, yeah, it's, that's fucked. That would never work. If you're saying Giant Slayer over Gunblade, there never was the option to. I was trying to get it. That's like saying hitting three star everything would have won that. It's not a very useful analysis. Okay, I actually still get first place as long as I hit the Shen 3. So like, I'm not too worried. As long as I eventually hit. As long as it's not a replay of last game. 110 gold for no Janna. You just hit the three star Shen. You go seven, you hit one Orn, and that's the end of the game. That's first place. I should have to get there before I lose 62 HP. The cast time really messes with his auto animation. Yeah, but you, you should have to factor that in. You still need the attack speed. It's still very good to like max out on attack speed here. The real tragedy was like not having very good items because because of that, I had to go Radiant Refactor instead of um, Ascension. Ascension would have gone so crazy. Alright. Shen. One Shen. One Shen. One Shen. Let me show you darkness. Oh. Target marked. A demonstration of superior judgment. I can play the game! Okay, it did take kind of an ungodly amount of time, but at least I got it at all. Now I level up, I play one Nar. Oh, sorry, not Nar. I play one uh, Orn or Udyr, and I'm in a good spot. It's actually like firstable if I hit the Orn. Shen's like one of the few units who can beat stuff like 3 star Nar, because he does ridiculous single target true damage. I think a bug just happened. I probably still win, but there was a bug in that fight. My Shen cast it twice in a row instead of just cast once auto. That was weird. I find them unworthy. Like, he, he casted, then he took damage, and then he gave him enough mana to cast again. And then he just like cast it twice in a row instead of uh, 
instead of just killing the Nar, and we almost died. He doesn't have a mana lock. Yeah, I know. They, they specifically removed it. That's why he's so good now. The the scary part is that like he took so much damage that he gained 75 mana. Okay, this, this is good. Like nothing can kill the Shen now, especially with Gunblade on the map. Why is he not mana locked? They just they just removed it. I, I think they removed it to buff Ethereal Blades specifically. Before he would cast and then he would do three autos and then he would have a four second lockout period. So he was like really bad. This is necessary. Ow. This RLA2 kind of owned me. I mean, this is a, a very strong, like, game level 9 board. Alright, Albert, don't worry. Just get your Orn. Although, rolling for Orn at 7 is going to be kind of tough. I think you actually go 8. You go 8 and then roll for Orn plus, like, anything, like, Heavenly. Yeah, people are starting to hit their strong level 9 boards. At least I have HP. I would literally take an Orn on Carousel with, like, any item. Orn or Udyr. There's not much to do positioning-wise. I don't want to put my guy in the front. Maybe I can afford to do this, though. Maybe I put my Shen like one hex up. So you can reach the people in the corner. Not sure how useful that would be. Every time he casts is basically one kill. Pretty satisfying. York actually lives quite a long time. It's really satisfying to watch. Wait, does he win this? Oh my god. What in the 1v9 am I watching? He didn't take any damage. What? He's actually him. Okay, I'll literally take the Orn with a useless crest. Actually, I can make it work. Oh, there's probably one faded player who wants this though. Redemption's good. That was good. Oh, does nobody want it? Oh my god, nobody wants Forn! Alright, I can make it work by getting a Faded at level 8. Okay, well, I mean... It's time. Six Behemoth, Ethereal Blade, Shen 3. Quack. Ah! I got owned! I wanna see everything. Cancel the song, I got owned! I just got Lissandra. Instant one shot. Probably Diamond Hands here. I held the greatest blessing. Alright, go eight, find a faded unit. Oh, it, it really needs to be set. My comp does take a bit too long to scale. Wait, did I see a Zephyr earlier? I thought I saw a Zephyr, but I could be wrong. All right, let's do this. Come on, Shen. I believe in you. Oh, there was a Zephyr. Every single round is just a battle of can he scale up in time. It's so satisfying to watch. Okay, nice. You killed the Lissandra. That was exactly what you had to do. That was the only way to win. Maybe we win now. If the Lissandra got the ult off, that would have been so sad. What? He just stood there stunned for five seconds. Damn. The Wukong one stun. Yeah, he got the, he double casted again and wasted his time. I can win this. I go eight 
I find any mythic or a faded unit, preferably set, we can win. I've got two lives and a dream. I'm not hitting Sentry. Oh, I'm not hitting Fresh 3. Okay, this will do for now. Any chance of him? Any chance of him? I will not go back. Operation, survive. Okay, I specifically put my Shen on this Nar. We need to kill him immediately. Don't let him scale. Do not let him cook. One shot the Nar immediately. Diamond Hands actually so high value against this guy. Nice, ooh. Fight's over. The Cinder bonus got buffed. Bro, trust me, I do not need the Cinder bonus because it does not affect my Shen. I need frontline, frontline, frontline. Miss Cinder too. But honestly, it doesn't matter. She goes as soon as I hit a set. This guy is so strong. How do I beat this guy? Try to avoid the Udiers. There's one on each side. Avoid the Udiers. Do not let them cook. Oh, it's a Kaisa 2 Zaya 2. Uh oh. With lucky shot. I think this is the end. Wait, no, no. It's definitely not the end. I'll at least live. Hang in there, Shen. Wait, the behemoths. Oh, Choget is so smart. He repositioned next to Shen to get the damage reduction. Yes, you're so smart. That actually keeps you alive for a really long time. Shen is keeping Chogath alive. <laughs> Unbelievable tactic. Is it good enough? It might be, it might be. This Chogath is so smart. He moved back into the Shen aura. Unbelievable win. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Yeah, Faker Chogath. Okay, this guy has got a very strong Lissandra. Um, what's my game plan here? Here, I want to just snipe the guy right here. If he didn't move. Yeah, snipe the Orin. Okay, if Lissandra is the last unit alive, it's fucked. Lissandra needs to die early. Oh god, hang in there, team. Shen, you need to find this Lissandra. We're running out. Oh, you're so smart! You're so fucking smart! It's over! I think we win! Wait, no, no, hang on. Remember what happened last time? The Wukong Kerma CC. Okay, it doesn't matter! These fights are down to the wire. Wait! What do I even want as my last unit now? What happens if you do this? I'm really curious. Actually, I'm gonna gamble. Uh oh. I thought he was gonna swap back to the right side. Yeah, maybe last unit Nautilus. Okay, I am not killing the Nar in time. 
I needed my Shen and Orn in front of him. Oh god, hang in there, team. It's gonna take too long to kill this Gnar. Okay, wait, I do have Diamond Hands. I do have Diamond Hands! Pew, pew, pew! Wait, actually, actually a 1v9 moment. Pew, 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 pew! Oh, the Ghostlies, though! Oh, interesting. My final opponent was not the Gnar. Okay, final battle. Think very hard about this positioning. I think I know what to do here. I, s I play to snipe the Wukong. This Wukong is the biggest threat. If he gets his single target two seconds stun on my Shen, it's over. Move Shen to the left to get the snipe off quickly. Now all you have to do is find the Lissandra before it's too late. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. Uh-oh. No, Orn, you have to live! Oh, fuck. Survive one more Lissandra ult, please. Oh, no! Shen, kill the Lissandra quickly! Hurry! Ah! It was my auto! It was one auto attack! No! He's got 5.0 attack speed and we lost by one auto! It's okay, you tried your best. Oh! Yeah, she rolled double sniper's focus on her blacksmith's gloves, allowing her to stay back and be the last unit to die. Oh, the misery. I mean, honestly, that was a sick game. Can we even be too upset about that? It was a fun time.